Hey peeps, if you have not heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. First and foremost, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer, your laptop, or your pad. Anchor will then distribute these podcasts, no fee, everywhere. Spotify, Google, Apple Podcast, anywhere. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free app today, Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R, or go to Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M to get started. You will have fun. Good day. Welcome to Rocking the Gray Matter with Doc Grigsby. That's me. This is where we will view the world through the lens of life and interaction, hopefully applying some common sense, empathy, and intelligent reasoning. The world is a crazy place. Let's explore it together. Welcome to Rocking the Gray Matter with Doc Grigsby. That would be me. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I hope all is well. It is October 13th, 2020. A brisk, sunny, cool fall day. I ran across an article in Psychology Today that really started me to think, and I would like to expound on that, if you will allow. The title of this session is going to be, Your Past Story is Your Responsibility. So there is this um, scientific premise, it's called Causal Determination. It states that pretty much everything that happens to us, or that exists, is caused by prior conditions, prior circumstances, prior events. So if we look at it from this point of view, people are determined, not influenced. Let me say that again. People are determined, not influenced by prior events. Wow. So that's kind of like, you know, everything has a purpose, kind of, maybe, karma, Mm, maybe. Uh, So this, uh, this premise is pretty popular, but it can also lead to justifying our poor behavior or justifying our lack of progress because we blame it on the events prior. So this article goes on to stay and I'll have to uh, say and I'll have to say that I, I agree totally that your past is not the thing that's causing you to be who you are. Let me say that again. Your past is not the thing that is causing you to be who you are. You are who you are right now. How you see the world, that's who you are. So we can look at this from a societal point of view. We, particularly now, oh my gosh, particularly now with all the stuff that's going on, all the social and, and social injustice and social unrest and the riots, the political upheaval. We can see this every day in the anxiety of our country. So when these events occur, our views of the past change. 
things that we used to think were okay are no longer tolerated. So, you know, with this whole COVID thing, we all know that science changes from day to day. Wear a mask, not wear a mask, six feet, ten feet, airborne, not airborne, vaccine, no vaccine. It just goes on and on. So history is constantly changing. New data, new experiences, new perspectives. Things do not stay the same. Well, our memory works the exact same way. The past and how we view that past is more of a reflection of where we are currently than the past itself. Let's, let's do that again. So our memory, as we see it, is more of a reflection of where we currently are than the past itself. It is more accurate to say that the present causes the meaning of the past. That the past causes the meaning of the present. See, memories aren't stored. I mean, they can be. It takes a minute. It takes a lot of rehearsal, a lot of practice, many years uh, involved in the life process for those memories to go into that long-term long storage. But our memories are not stored and they're not living parts of us. This is the reason that our moods and our emotions and our future goals affect our memories because they're not static. They are constantly being manipulated and changed according to our present behavior. So your past is your responsibility. People say, oh, I, you know, I, I did some pretty bad things. I was pretty reckless. I don't have any control over that. Well, you, you kind of do. You kind of do. According to uh, Gordon Livingston, he is a physician. He says that the stories of our lives, far from being fixed narratives, are under constant revision. Our story is constantly changing according to our experiences, how we live, where we live, people that we involve ourselves with, this identity, this identity that we see when we look in the mirror is, a base, is based on a story that we tell ourselves every day. Now, despite all of that, we do change. We change over time. We gain experience and wisdom and maturity. There are certain memories for sure, certain events of our past that stick with us. We call these core memories. Sometimes and often too many times they are related to a traumatic event. So the crucial aspect of a trauma or some negative event is that these memories are often disassociated with the rest of your narrative. In other words, yes it happened, yes it's there, yes it's fixed, yes sometimes you remember it, but it doesn't have to be associated with who you are. So, that being said, all those crazy things we did in our youth. We don't have to identify with, but we do have to take responsibility for. Aspects of our identity, of our story, can change. But you are responsible. However you see an experience from the past or the present, it's necessary to realize that your perspective is not objective. 
your perspective is the meaning that you give to your experience. Considering how you felt at the time, your environment, your emotions, your maturity level, your wisdom, your identity and your story are based on the meanings you give to your life and experiences. You can change the story of your past. You can change the meanings. You can change your memory and when you do you'll be able to learn more from future experiences. In other words, if you had a negative experience and if you let that consume your identity as opposed to learning from said experience and growing with a new wisdom, then you are locked to the past. Each of us have a similar latitude in how we interpret our own histories. We have the power to idealize or to denigrate those characters that inhabit our life stories. We can be the good guy or we can be the bad guy. We just need to experience both alternatives as reflections of our current need to see ourselves in a certain way and to realize that we are all able to color our past either happy or sad. Wow. It is your responsibility. Your past is your responsibility. Your story is your responsibility. Memories are shaped by our experiences and how we perceive them. Our identity changes when we look in the mirror according to our past and present story. So instead of getting all locked up into this negative crap that is constantly surrounding us, and perhaps you've got some negative baggage in your memory file, let's take that, let's learn from that, and let's shape our identity in a new light. See the world for its good. See the world for its united efforts versus this vast, vast separation that we're seeing right now. Times are hard and it's easy to be negative. It's easy to look back and go, oh my gosh, 2020 was such a horrible year. No, no it wasn't here for a reason. We have to learn from it. We have to shape our memories. We have to look at ourselves in the mirror and find that identity. Take that responsibility. Just thoughts, peeps. Just thoughts. As always, I wish you health and safety. And until next time, peace.